Hello everybody. How's it going? How you been? How's life? Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you, answering some of your hot questions that you submitted to me on many different places. I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about where I've been, answering those questions, and we're gonna be drawing in my nice, new, large moleskin sketchbook. It's gonna be very fun, so stick around, enjoy yourself, maybe get a drink, take your mask off if you're indoors. Why are you still wearing your mask? All right, let's get into it. Brilliant question from Rebecca on IG. Rebecca was asking uh, a lot of questions about Hip Hop RPG, which I'm gonna dip in a little bit. Hip Hop RPG, she asked a lot of questions about it. Rebecca wanted to know what happened to Hip Hop, Hip -Hop RPG. What the fuck, what's going on? I did make a video a couple years ago about what happened to it. Um, you can watch that by clicking here. I'm in a very different headspace right now. I still love that project. I thought that is, it's probably the best animated thing I've ever made. Uh, I still don't remember writing a lot of it. I don't, I wasn't talking to my friends when I made Hip Hop RPG. I was very socially isolated and um, kind of fucked up. My process for making it was crazy. I never want to be in that position again. So if I do it again, it'll be a Blue Cerberus production. Most likely it'll be something that is a lot larger than me. Um, where I can just do stuff like EP, direct, and anime, and with a team, something like that. I've been leaving little cryptic messages on Reddit and stuff being like, oh, be patient. What that means is, once we have some funding, a little more budget, and my uh, bank account is more stable, and um, Blue Cerberus is like running a little more, you know what I'm saying? Once we're doing that thing, um, we'll potentially go back into it. So we kind of boiled down Rebecca's questions too into where have you been? How have you been preserving slash protecting slash growing your creative energy since you folks last saw me? Um, I've been around here or there. I, I know I came back with the BLM Plaza video. Um, a lot of stuff happened since I was posting very regularly on DSC, which I think was in January. I took a big hiatus, even pre-COVID. Stuff was happening in my life. A lot of shit was happening. Personal family stuff that I ain't gonna get into, but that real shit that happens to you um, when you're in your uh, early 30s, real life shit. Um, I'm not gonna say depression, but definitely like some borderline, like, fuck this internet shit. I ain't, I ain't, like, I got, I got a life to live. I kept on making a lot of art. I made, I think, some of my best stuff. Um, Recently, when I was, uh, when I felt like I was, I, I didn't have to post everything, didn't have to post all the time. Um, so I made some really good paintings and drawings and animations, and I was rethinking my brand a lot, rethinking Blue Cerberus, like what is it, what are my goals? And I've done so much business development work, a lot of boring shit that I won't get into, but stuff that is really gonna hopefully anchor me down and help me from having to take another six month hiatus. Thank you for your question, Rebecca. I gotta remind you all, you can message me anytime on IG, send me a little DM with some questions, ask.domreiber.com, you can send questions on there as well. That is the preferred method. And I gotta remind you too, patrons, patrons get extra high priority. Patrons, when I answer their questions, you can hear a little sound, a little cute noise, and I'll shout them out in very beautiful fashion. Great question from the one and only Chandler, the one and only Chandesky. If you had one choice, would you like your girlfriend to be paper or plastic? That is a terrible question, because it's obviously plastic. 
why would I mean when you, when you look at something like Wayland Corporation, whatever they were, whatever they were making, and um, is Wayland from Alien or is that Blade Runner? Tyrell is Blade Runner. I think Wayland is Alien. I think That's Wallace right. is 2049, like you said. And Tyrell is OG Blade Runner. OG Blade Runner, yes. Um, plastic, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Radonna Stan, another great patron. Radon X9, great artist. If you were to make a feature length film, what kind of stuff would you put into it? Would it be a mixture of what you currently do, vlogs, animations, etc., or would it be completely something different? I think it would be a mixed media thing. I want it to be the film version of what you see right here. You got ink, you got pencil, you got paint, you got oil underneath here, you got a card that's split in half. What the fuck is going on? I, I want something that's like a vlog and then half the fucking thing splits in half and then it's animation for half the video, literally half the composition of the video is animation but it's integrating with the live action portion. And you're like, what the fuck kind of person would make this shit? Why did they do this? What the hell? And you're out there picketing. Oh my God. Ah. Tommy Toosters, another great patron. Patreon.com slash Tom Rabrun asked, what are some ways distortion can improve a piece and what are some ways to implement it? Digitally, there are a lot of ways to distort. You can, you can just use the warp tool in Photoshop, for instance, and just you can literally bend the work you're, you're using, using warp, perspective, skew is another thing that you can use on transform, the transform tool in Photoshop. So try that out, Tommy Tooster. Try, try the warp tool, but don't get too fucking crazy or else people are gonna know because it looks very obvious if you overdo it. So don't overdo it. We got a question from Fayfal9. They asked, how do I find you on Twitch? Twitch.tv slash DSC show. That's how you get on my Twitch. Subscribe on there. Actually follow, follow is the free ver version. Sub, if you're a baller and you got that cashola, go ahead and uh, throw me a sub. We stream live 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. That thing is back on, I mean right now. While you're watching this, hop on there and uh, hope to see you. Thank you for watching this video. Just got some quick announcements before you head off into the other realm, wherever it is that you're going. First off, shop. DomRabber.com slash shop. That's where you can buy merch, my art, digital phone wallpapers, a bunch of other cool stuff. DomRabber.com slash shop. Second announcement, I have a class coming up. I'm gonna be teaching a class at the University of Maryland. I'm a teacher now. It's fantastic, right? You can be a part of this class. There are only 10 slots in the two classes I'm gonna be teaching. What class I'm gonna be teaching, you're asking? It's a self-portrait workshop. One of the classes is for beginners to casual creatives hobbyists, that sort of thing. Second class is gonna be for intermediate to professional. We have professionals coming in from my network to talk about the self-portrait process. And what's really cool about this is basically you're gonna be forced to sit with 10 other students inside of a Zoom chat. It's online only. So we're gonna be doing a self-portrait seven times. You're gonna lead these classes with seven portraits. Hour and a half long session with me, your boy, good ass music. I'm going to be looking at what it is you're drawing. I'll be drawing as well. Talking about these techniques, talking about the sort of philosophical and experimental abstract side of it. I'm not super, super focused on technique. I will teach you the techniques and we'll go over the technical aspect of what's going into the making of a portrait. But I'm more interested in what is happening when you're drawing yourself. What are the thoughts you're having about yourself? How can we sort of elevate our sense of self and really put some good energy into these images that we see of ourselves all the time on screens, on Zoom chats and all that stuff. I do believe art is therapy and you can be part of this class. Link is in the show notes below to join this class, the Self-Portrait Workshop. There are two sessions happening this September to October. So check that out. Hope to see you there and thank you.